On today's Fast Friday, I'm going to show you three Fujifilm autofocus tools that are designed to make focusing faster and easier. I'll see you after the intro. Hi everyone and welcome to pal to tech Fujifilm cameras have a lot of amazing features, but sometimes they're often buried in menus or they have confusing names. Because of this, a number of Fujifilm users, especially those coming from Sony or Canon, may not even know that they exist. Today we're going to cover three of them and all three have to do with autofocus. They are AF lock only, AE, AF lock and AF on. The first is AF lock only. That's what this button does right here by default. However, you can assign it to any menu button by simply pressing and holding down the DISP back button for a few seconds until this menu appears. Then you can simply scroll down and assign it right to the button just like that. Now, when you have AF lock assigned to a button, for example, it's now enabled to the autofocus lock button. You see that right there. The camera just locks focus. That's all it does. For example, I'm going to half press the shutter button and lock focus on gear iguana's eye. You see that? Then I'm going to press and hold the AFL button. Now, if I move the camera over here and half press the shutter button, nothing's happening. You see that? While I am holding on and and pressing down on the AFL button. Essentially, it's locking the focus. Once I let go like that, then I can press the shutter button halfway and it'll reacquire focus. Now you also have the option to set this button to act in one of two ways. One way would be you press and hold it down while it's enabled. That's what I just showed you. The other way is to turn it on as a switch where you press it once and it stays locked until you press it again. And the way you assign it that option is to go into your menu, into the wrench, into button dial setting, and you see where it says AEAF lock mode? You see it's on P, meaning it only is enabled while you're pressing it down. If you change this to on off switch like that, now for example, I'm going to lock focus on gear iguana's eye and I'm going to press the AF button once. Boom, just like that. Now, if I take my hand off the shutter button altogether, turn the camera, then half press the shutter button, nothing's happening. Look at that. It's almost like the half press on the shutter button doesn't work at all. And it will not work until you press the AFL and toggle it again, just like that. I don't recommend setting the AF button as a switch at all because it's just too easy to forget and think maybe your focus is broken or something. So let's put it back. Okay, let's move on to the next one. AEAF lock. This is very similar to AF lock that we just talked about, but instead of just focus, it will also lock in exposure. The way you enable it is to press and hold down DISP back button, scroll down till you find the button you want to assign it to. I prefer the AFL button on the back right here and just change it to AEAF lock. There we go. Okay, so now I'm gonna aim the camera at a dark subject toward the back and I'm gonna half press the shutter button to lock focus and exposure. Now I'm gonna press and hold the AFL button, which has now been assigned to AFAE lock. And if I turn my camera here, and now half press the shutter again, nothing happens. Not only that, but look at how bright the screen is. You see that? Because it has locked in the exposure and the focus from the original point back here that I had set it to. I can do this in reverse. I'll focus here where it's locking exposure and focus. Then I'll hold down the AFL button, which has been assigned AFAE lock. And then I turn the camera this way. Look at that. I'm half pressing the shutter button, but nothing things working. You see that? Because it has locked both focus and exposure. Lastly, we come to my favorite autofocus tool, AF on. Now you can assign AF on to any button on the camera, but I prefer to assign it to the AFL button right here. Now what AF on does is that it acquires focus and it locks focus while you're holding down the button. So for this demo, I'm going to assign it to the AFL button, just like I did in the other examples I showed you. Going into DISP back, scrolling down and changing this to AF on. 
See that? Just like that. Now that it's been assigned that way, you can use it as a back button focus. Check this out. So for this example, I'm gonna focus on an object in the background. I'm gonna press the AFL button. Boom, just like that, and now it's in focus. And as long as I'm holding that button down, I can recompose the shot. And if I press now on the shutter release halfway down, it doesn't change the focus that I had set in the back. You see that? It's just like half pressing the shutter button. You can press and hold this new back button focus, recompose your shot, and then press your shutter button to take it. But here's the amazing thing about it, and this is why I love it so much. It also works when the camera is set to manual focus mode. Check this out. Okay, so now I'm focusing just like this, and I'm turning the focus dial, no problem there. And I can even press the rear command dial to kind of check my focus. I've got all the benefits of manual focus here. But check this out. If I wanted to recompose the shot, but this time quickly get the camera to autofocus, for example, this background here, I can aim up this way. I can press the AFL. Look at that. Boom, it focused just like that. And now when I take my finger off of it, the background is in focus. You see that? Again, I can recompose just like this. And instead of touching anything manually, I just press the button. Boom, look at that. Now I've got that in focus and I can make further adjustments manually. Look at that. So go to the background here, look at that in perfect focus focus, but Gear Iguana is not in focus, right? And I can manually adjust the focus of the background, or I can quickly turn the camera to Gear Iguana, press the back button, boom, Gear Iguana is now in focus, and I can adjust it manually if I want to. It gives you the best of both worlds, autofocus and manual focus, and puts control of it over a button that you can assign on the back of the camera. This thing is brilliant. Now that you know that this works in manual mode as well, plus AFS, what about AFC mode, right? Well, it turns out that you can also combine this with instant AF setting so that you can have it working for AFC also. Okay, so here's how you do that. You go into your AFMF section and you'll see where it says instant AF setting. And there's a choice, AFS, which is what we just had it on, or you can change it to AFC. Now, when you put the camera in AFC mode, obviously when you press and hold down the front shutter button and you move the camera around, it will change the autofocus. So now I'm gonna aim the camera at Gear Iguana's face just like this, and I'm gonna press down the AFL button right on the back here on the camera. That's the button that I had assigned AF on just a minute ago, and boom, it focuses. Now, while I'm holding down the AFL button, if I move the camera around, look at that, it focused, see that? It stays in autofocus continual. How cool is that? Now, if you're new at this in terms of what to set it for, I would recommend that you start by setting it to AFS, just like this. And make sure that your back rear button AFL is set to AF on. Ugh, all this AF this and AF that, no wonder people are confused. If you are gonna try out this back button workflow, I also suggest that you consider disabling shutter autofocus. This way you would completely decouple the shutter button from focusing and only focus the camera using the back button that you've set up. The way you do that is to go into the menu, into button dial setting, shutter autofocus, and you have a choice for either single or continuous. Most of the time this would apply to single and turn that off. Give that a try and see how it works for you, but you can always turn it back on and use the technique about the back button focus that I just discussed previously. Well, thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, be sure to give it the like and subscribe. Have a wonderful weekend. We are signing off now and we'll see you next week. Take care.